Hi everyone, and thanks for watching Science at Home. I'm Denise Rutherford, and I've worked for 3M for 30 years. I'm currently responsible for helping 3M connect with our communities, but when I first started, I was a research chemist. Today, I get to show you an experiment that demonstrates the famous Bernoulli principle. It's named after a famous Swiss mathematician and physicist, Daniel Bernoulli. He developed it back in 1738. And it's a really important principle that explains how birds can fly so easily and how airplanes take off and stay in flight. Now, let's get to that experiment. Before we do any kind of experiment, we really need to address safety. You'll often see scientists wearing safety glasses and gloves, especially when dealing with volatile chemicals or extreme temperatures. For this, I feel pretty safe without gloves, but I'm going to wear safety glasses because it's a good practice. Before we get started on this experiment, we're gonna need a ping pong ball and a hair dryer. Use one that has a non-heat setting if you have it. Now we can get started. First, plug the hair dryer in. Second, hold the ball above the end of the hair dryer and turn the hair dryer on so it's blowing steadily and strongly enough to let go of the ball. Then we're gonna watch the ball rise in the column of the air created by the hair dryer. Now, we're gonna go ahead and turn the hair dryer so the ball is floating at an angle instead of straight up and down. Test out for yourself how far you can tilt it over before the ball falls out of the stream of air. Why did the ball stay aloft? so far when we tilted the angle of the airflow. That's because the ball is held in the column by the pressure of the air around it. The Bernoulli principle is about something called fluid dynamics. It tells us that moving fluids like gases or liquids have lower pressure than fluids that are not moving. So when you turn the hair dryer on, you're creating a column of moving air, which has a lower pressure than the air around it. And this holds the ball inside that column of air. Now that you know how the Bernoulli principle works, let's have some fun with it. I was able to build a simple ping pong ball launcher out of construction paper and tape. If you're gonna try this at home, you should probably go get your parents' permission. And for this part, you're gonna need a few extra supplies. So you're gonna need three sheets of construction paper or cardstock. We're gonna need some tape, a stapler, and some scissors and you're still gonna need that ping pong ball and the hair dryer. So to get started, we're gonna take one of the pieces of construction paper and fold it up to make a tube. Make sure that it's big enough that the ping pong ball can go through it very easily. We're gonna staple it closed, just like that. And I already took a second one, and I've got the second one ready here. But before I put them together, I'm gonna to cut a small hole about in the middle of this one. And I want that hole to be big enough that the ping pong ball is gonna be able to pass through it from the side. So a nice big circle on the side of this piece of paper. Okay, all right, so I got that hole cut just like that. And then I'm gonna stick these two together. So just slide one right inside the other one, like that. And then we're gonna tape them together with our handy dandy masking tape. Any tape will work. I find that masking tape of some sort works best because it's super sticky. So just tape those two together. And then that other piece of construction paper, just cut it in half and then roll it like this. So that becomes the, the side that's gonna go over this, this hole. So we're gonna staple that one. And then to make it fit over that hole really well, we're gonna cut a smiley out of one end. So we're just gonna cut it just like this so that it's got a nice smile to it. Okay, 
And then that, you see, is going to fit right on the side of our tube and we're going to tape it down. Now I'm not going to waste your time because this part takes a little while, but when you tape it down, make sure you got it good and firm that you can see all the way through and that there's no way that air can get out from around this. So when you get done, it should look like this. You can see that. And what we're going to do is we're going to tape this to the table because I learned the hard way. If you don't tape it down, it's going to go flying across the table when you turn the hairdryer on. So let me go ahead and get it taped down and I'll be right back. Okay, now you can see that I've got my ping pong ball launcher all taped down. I've got it taped at this end, I've got it taped here. I'm going to put the hair dryer on this end, blow that air, and that's going to create a low pressure airflow inside this longer tube. It's going to pull this ping pong ball right into the side. So let's see what happens. Oh, cool! You see that? I could do this all day. This same type of system is used for a lot of applications, like the carburetor on old cars. The air is sucked in, and in this case, instead of ping pong balls, it's the gasoline that's pulled into the engine to turn the pistons. Can you think of any other examples of the Bernoulli principle? Be sure to clean up when you're all done. Collect everything, especially those stray ping pong balls, and put away all the materials back where you found them. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Denise Rutherford, and I hope you check out some more Science at Home videos from 3M.